as well as using the free Google software um, on Mac and PC, you can also use free Mac software, which runs on your iPhone and your iPad. And to do this, you need to use the Reminders app, which is part of the operating systems of your Mac or your iPhone or your iPad. And if you've got all three of those devices, you can share your reminders across them. If you've only got one, you've just got an iPhone, for example, then you just use your reminders on that. You can probably use it in the web browser on iCloud, but that's for another day. So let's have a look at this. I've got the same uh, category that I've created, fine art examples. And if I wanted to create a new category, I would go to the corner of the app, the lower left corner, and click on add task list there. And I could say, do another one, which would be um, fine art essay. I wanted to go into there. And you can see I've got no tasks in there. But if I go back to my fine art example task, you can see I've got this one here. And it says research one first task, and that's in bold. And over here, we've got number two. If I click on this little triangle here, you can see that I've got two subtasks that I've put in there. So I know that I need to do my research, and I know that a part of that will be doing the timeline, and part of it will be beginning um, the uh, mind map. So let's hide those for a second. But supposing I wanted to um, add these ones underneath here, I've got two uh, by mistake here. Let's just get rid of that. Press the backspace arrow to delete that. And I've got my experimentation exploration first steps. I want to stay in the background colors of my um, uh, pages in my sketchbook. And then I want to do some art making with dry paint. And then on my second page, I want to do layers of color. So those are all tasks that relate to experimentation and exploration. Um, how do I do it? Well, I can click on one so it's selected. Hold down Shift and use the down pointing arrows to select them all. And then I can drag them onto that one there. And now they become subtasks of that one there. So you can see that I've got experimentation and exploration. And I've got research that I need to do both inside my fine art examples. But each one of those is a headline task, which has got different things that I want to do on the inside. So as soon as I do that, it marks it off as achieved and so on. I can go to here and see all the ones that are due for today. I can see the ones that I've got that are coming up in the next couple of days. Um, if I flag them, um, that gives me another way to look at them. And I can see everything that I've got that's going on as well. Um, but if I go back to my fine art examples, that's a very easy way to manage your tasks if you have an iPhone, an iPad, or a Mac. You can get this talking to a Windows um, Exchange server. So if you've got that and you get your email through Microsoft Exchange, you can, you can make it talk to that. But I don't know if you can get it talking to Google Calendar. To do that, you would have to look it up on Google.